Pharmacology research and perspectives, uh, we believe, fills a unique niche in the pharmacological sciences uh, in the sense that uh, it's making an, a real effort uh, to publish uh, works that are very important to have in the public domain but otherwise may not be published. For example, replication studies uh, that uh, oftentimes don't, don't review well for some journals but at the same time uh, are very important to have in the literature. Studies in which uh, there are results of, of uh, experiments or therapeutic targets uh, that were demonstrated to not be effective as therapeutic targets are very important to, to have in the public domain as well, to not replicate or to not require other laboratories uh, to replicate and make expenditures to repeat experiments. And not only does it fulfill that niche of, uh, of preventing unnecessary replication, but also those publications will commonly uh, provide information with new research tools that can be highly useful pharmacological agents for research purposes, even if there's no uh, therapeutic indication necessarily, they can still be very valuable research tools uh, available to the whole community and at this point in time uh, a large proportion of the academic community are simply unaware of the, the potentiality of using a number of research tools because those studies are currently unpublished. So I think for the BPS and ASPET to be a leader in producing a journal that creates a publishing vehicle for studies that are otherwise just there out in the ether, no one knows and I think that's very important. Pharmacology Research and Perspectives uh, has come into being as an open access journal uh, really I think in response to an ongoing and increasing wish to get good science into the public domain sooner and more accessible to a wider population. Immediacy is a, is a key factor because often, you know, uh, research can be that's been accepted for publication may take some time before it's available to the rest of the research community. With open access, those times are shrunken considerably, so your research is more accessible, but also major grant giving authorities around the world are demanding that uh, research is placed in publicly accessible repositories, so it's, it's the way of the future. We seek a variety of papers uh, of, of uh, excellent science, uh, but in particular uh, this concept of providing a venue for replication studies, studies for which uh, a particular uh, promising therapeutic target uh, might be demonstrated to either be useful or not useful. Uh, for review kinds of papers as well that, that uh, would seek a venue in the open access domain. Uh, as it goes forward, we expect that, that uh, we'll be attracting increasing numbers of original uh, uh, submissions uh, that really represent the best in pharmacological science that, uh, again, uh, are seeking access, uh, uh, rapid access to uh, the public domain. I'm very uh, excited about this opportunity to uh, take the deputy editor position of Pharmacology Research and Perspectives, having had a considerable editorial experience both with the British Journal of Pharmacology and, and other pharmacology and neuroscience journals more generally. And I think it's a great opportunity to, to expand the publication of pharmacological studies, uh, both original articles, original studies, uh, also some, uh, maybe some meta-analyses type uh, approaches of uh, particularly why studies don't replicate necessarily. I think that's an important point going forwards. And another thing that I'd like to see is uh, maybe concise quo vadis kind of uh, statements where a field's going, where, where people are looking forwards rather than looking backwards and saying wh where's this particular branch of pharmacology moving, whether it's to do with a technical innovation or whether it's to do with a, a big leap through in, a, uh, in, um, in knowledge from a particular finding. So I think they're all really big opportunities for pharmacology to, to stamp its importance back in, in the biomedical science arena. Uh, I see pharmacology research and perspectives as a very strong vehicle for this, being open access, wanting to engage with the pharmaceutical industry so that we, we know about targets that do or don't validate. And, and in so doing, we know about new research tools. And when new innovations or new technological developments come along, they're published quickly, they're accessible to all the people in the field so that that new technology can be taken up and used broadly for, for new advances. I think also we have an opportunity to 
continue the very important role of training early career scientists into, firstly into the peer review process and then secondly with time into the editorial process more broadly so that they, we're training the editors of the future, not only for pharmacology research and perspectives but also for other journals that are in the, the BPS and ASPET stables but also other journals more broadly. Goals for the uh, next period in, for pharmacology research and perspectives I think are several. Uh, one is to uh, move toward increasing proportion of original submissions of science uh, rather than uh, referral articles from the ASPET and BPS journals. Second is to uh, define and explore areas of what I view as unmet uh, editorial and, and publishing space. There are a variety of areas of science now that relate directly to pharmacology. Uh, for example, in the areas of systems pharmacology, bioinformatics that relates to systems pharmacology, complex systems analysis and computational approaches around that. Uh, I believe that at the present time uh, there are, are not good publication venues for that kind of work and that pharmacology research and perspectives uh, can provide a, a great venue for that kind of work to move the science forward. One thing I'm particularly excited about with pharmacology research and perspectives moving forwards is to internationalize the journal more. We know that both BPS and ASPET are international societies with membership around the world. But, but I think the perception has been at least uh, that it's really a UK-USA axis, oh, axis should I say, with those uh, two societies at the forefront. But with me being based in Australia, that gives us a really good opportunity to, to demonstrate it's a truly international journal, to embrace the uh, burgeoning medical research sector in the Asian Pacific region and the South American regions and, and really moving forwards to demonstrate that pharmacology research and perspectives is, is going to be a leading international journal for all types of pharmacological research.